Good morning and welcome to today's video where we will be looking at um, the last three formulas inside of our grade 10 Excel. I think it's module 4.2 that we're looking at. So um, we've already checked out min, max, sum and average. Now we're looking at the last three which is multiplying, subtracting and dividing. So on the left you can see I've got a list of numbers, just random numbers. And we're going to put in the formula as to how to multiply, how to subtract, and how to divide. So when we multiply numbers, we use uh, the star or little asterisk um, icon that will indicate multiply. Okay. When we want to divide, or sorry, subtract, we are going to use the minus with a little dash. And when we divide, we are going to use the forward slash. And you'll see it when I, when I actually put it in. So let's say I'm going to multiply. And I want to use something simple as an example. It's 3 multiplied by 4. What is wrong with that? Remember, I need to start my formulas with the equals sign. Okay. So if I do that, it's not going to do anything. It's going to treat it as text. But if I go equals 3 multiplied by 4 there it will give me my answer of 12 now remember we don't use generally numbers uh, because we want to use cell references so that if anything changes within the cell um, then our answer will automatically change so let's go back let's delete this and let's say this particular cell which is d5 so we first go and we type equals we click on our cell you can see it's highlighted so that we know it's the correct one okay or we know the one we're dealing with we then put now multiply and click on whichever cell we are looking at let's say i'm going to multiply it by d7 so we can see the formula d5 multiplied by d7 we hit enter and there's our answer okay let's do another one we go equals let's say for example um, d6 and again the asterisk to indicate that we are multiplying and let's say we multiply by the big number 897 so that is d12 hit enter and there's our number now obviously um, you can go and autofill if you've got to do um, things in order uh, but if not this is how you're going to be typing it out let's do one more and we're going to say d6 and we're going to go multiplied by d9 and hit enter so that's how we multiply now when we subtract we start in the same way with our equals let's uh, click on d5 and we simply put in our dash now okay to indicate we are subtracting and click on any other cell and hit enter okay so again equals select the first cell put in our dash and select the second cell and hit enter now you see it comes up with negative three because obviously um, if you're taking nine away from six, you're going to be left with a negative number. So um, please just make sure that you are doing it the right way around. So if I go to this one and I say, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, I made a mistake here. I can go and correct it on top and say, okay, wait, it's actually D9 minus D7, not the other way around. And then I'll get my positive number. Then with a the divide, same story. I begin with equals. I click on the cell, the first one that I want to deal with, and then I put in my forward slash, and I click on whichever cell I'm going to divide it by, and I hit enter. Okay, now here as well, you need to be careful of uh, which way you are putting it in, because if I change this around, just to give you an example, you can see <laughs> how the number is going to change. Okay, so just, just be aware of that. All right, let's do another one. Um, let's go equals, let's take the big number and let's divide that, remember it's a forward slash by this one. You'll see we just using cell references and I hit enter and there's my answer. So remember one of the big reasons why we use cell references is because if this number changes, you will see that our answers to our formulas change as well. And that's how we multiply subtract and divide within Excel. 